Got a little New Orleans plate action there. Look at that. Yeah, the Big Easy. Criscoville style. Tonight we have the option for some French bread or the sunflower seed bread. So I went for sunflower seed and the kiddos went for the French bread. Pat also went for sunflower seed. Sunflower seed bread. I'm, I'm cutting mine open to add the butter, butter situations. I have not seen any bacon pan drippings. I think all of that is a lie. <laughs> there is there is lots of butter though. We're good with the butter. We're yes. good with the butter. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm a pirate. I only care about rum. <laughs> Your butter is okay for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah. The butter is fine. I like rum though. Lots of rum. What if it was like rum butter? <laughs> that would probably be great. <laughs> More pat <laughs> butter. The pirate. The pirate. Arr. <laughs> Starting out with our appetizers, I have the grilled portobello mushroom. Also, a shrimp cocktail. I have the iced Bing cherry soup. Yeah, I'm low in Michigan because it's Michigan night. Cherries grow in Michigan. Forget all these other states. Pasty. This is a pasty. Michigan pasty. Yeah, that's what we got going on. On to the kiddos. They have their mains, which chicken nuggets and french fries seem to be the staple of, the, of everything. And then we have some more Michigan pasties and the braised rabbit and some french fries. Okay, peeps, straight up. This this soup is like melted ice cream. <laughs> it's, it's actually really good. Never had a cold soup before, but this is delicious. If you ever go on a cruise, cherry soup, it's for you, if you like cherry. So I apologize, but I forgot to get the video before we started. So I got the strip loin steak. So far, it's really good. You know, it's Michigan night. So I got Thanksgiving. You got the roast turkey, all the trimmings. Yummy. And we have another strip loin steak. And I get a thumbs up for it. You already saw the chicken nuggets. And we have another Thanksgiving on the other side of the table. Michigan night. Michigan. All right, taking a look at these, uh, these dessert action situations here. I gotta say, first off, I've heard a lot of people complain about Carnival not having good desserts. Now, I'm gonna say that that is true some of the times, but not all the times, and there's many expectations, except exceptions, rather. One of them being this cappuccino cake pie thing. Amazing. And cheese plate, that's kind of interesting. The popcorn caramel thing, I didn't have that, but I heard it was pretty good. Kind of got to do the little voiceover here during uh, dinner because they like to pump up the jams with some dancing and music. That's all right, though. It's a good time. Kids loved it. And welcome to another. No, I'm just joking, vlog people. It's not a product review. That messy bad deal with it. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I just thought it was funny. So story time for y'all. We went to uh, the Dominican Republic and did that tour at Amber Cove, got some cigars. Um, we used to smoke. We used to smoke cigarettes back in the day. Um, it's been several years. Uh, we quit cold turkey after many, many attempts. Anyway, so occasionally I'll enjoy a cigar. So Jenny had one too. And they, they, they put them in like these little paper uh, bags or whatever, you know, when we're done with them for us to take them home with. Because they're, they're nice quality scars. Anyway, 
come into the room and this thing stinks to high heaven of like smoke man it's almost like somebody been smoking in here so it was just like sitting over here there's trash everywhere deal with it but it was sitting over there it was just stinking so i'm like oh man we gotta like we gotta bag that thing up i'm freaking out right so <laughs> we've got it like triple bagged and it was stinking just in like a Ziploc bag. So then we bagged it in like one of those Echo Sophie bags for towel review and then bagged it in another one. And now you finally can't smell it. Oh, you can actually smell it still a little bit. So it might have to go into another freaking bag from there. These things are strong smelling. It smells nice to me, but strong smelling. All right, so now, now for the story. So I was coming down the hallway the other night and we're all the way forward. I've been messing that up. Like every time I say it, I'm like, oh, we're in the aft. But anyway, we're all the way forward and I'm coming down the hallway the other night and coming behind two security dudes, right? So they're up a little ways. They go right into a room, man. They got like a key. They just poof, go right into a room, like a stack formation kind of type of thing, right? Just two of them, but just, poof, they pop right in there and they come right back out. Next thing you know, they're like on their, on their they're, they're calling um, guest services. They're like, yeah, we're gonna need to do a charge on that room. Long story short, they're charging people for smoking in the rooms. Don't mess around with it, man. I know there's a lot of videos out there that are like, you can get away with it. You know, you can get away with the 420, you can get away with the nicotine. They've been busting people left and right on this shit. Right hand up there, man, I'm just saying. You, you can try to get away with it if you want to, but $500 is a lot. And they're on top of it. I've seen it myself. I don't think it's worth it. Just, just an FYI. Plenty of places to smoke outside your room. But yeah, so that got that got me nervous seeing that. But I know everything's fine because we haven't been smoking in here, and the fire alarms haven't gone off or anything. So. Helen and I, Helen and I just went and did some shopping at the jewelry store. So we opted to do the charm bracelet. We got the charm bracelet and the five charms right here. So we each have matching charm bracelets. Yay! So they were, it was $10 for the bracelet and the five charms. Yeah. So if you can see, Helen and I did some shopping. So our blue bracelets from Aruba. And then we, today in Amber Cove, we went to Diamonds International and got our charm bracelet with a dolphin charm. And then we also got our free charm bracelet um, in the fun shops. We didn't have to pay for the charms. They're $10, like I was trying to show you earlier, but they're $10 for the five charms. So we have matching, matching bracelets. Super cute. Do you have fun shopping? Awesome. People enjoy the voiceover and the voiceover music while you watch some scenes from Amor Cubano. So this is a one of the shows that we went to on the Horizon. We actually felt like the Horizon didn't have as many uh, entertainment options for us with their shows that we liked, uh, like the Magic did. But the performance performers rather did an awesome job. So definitely wasn't them. So the details on the Amor Cubano, it says the exhilarating rhythmic sounds of Cuba, Cuba, combined with today's Latin hits, create an authentic, larger than life Caribbean dance rom romance featuring the playlist performers. Cha-cha-cha. Everybody still watching, we want to say thank you so much. We really appreciate it, genuinely. And if you're interested in subscribing, we would love that. Thank you so much for watching again. And until we see you again, keep your nose clean, people. Bye-bye. That means kind of stay out of trouble, by the way. Yeah.